Hello, and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, this little place on the internet is called The Beauty Saga, and I am Parisa Saga. I wanted to do a look that's really like soft, sort of romantic, feminine, and I think we nailed it. I love the bold pink statement look. Everything else, the eyes, the skin, everything else is just like a lot softer, and it's just, it's just a very romantic sort of look. This is a full face tutorial. I take you start to finish on exactly how to get this look. So if you are in the Valentine's Day mood, then just please keep watching. So it is still January when I'm filming this, but I am totally in the mood to do a Valentine's Day look. And by the time I edit it and get it up, uh, hopefully I'll make it in time for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Okay, so I know I'm like an eternity behind everybody else, but I just got the Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas, and I'm super excited to try this out. Apply one pump to skin after SPF before makeup for face and eyes. <laughs> so it's just like a little cream. It's not like too runny or anything. It has that like traditional Tatcha scent, which I love. <laughs> the way like all their products smell. Definitely smoothing, like I can feel it smoothing over texture. Yeah, my skin feels smooth, it definitely feels lightweight. Doesn't have that like heavy silicone feel that some primers do. The under eyes feel smooth. We'll just see how it wears. I just went to go wet my sponge because I forgot to do that before I started filming and looking at my skin up close in the mirror, it actually has like a really nice blurring effect that I can't see under these harsh lights but in the bathroom light I was like, whoa, I'd wear this primer on its own. It made me just look poreless. <laughs> I have high hopes, I'm excited. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer. I wear the shade, good question, <laughs> Bisque, which is light medium two. And I'm going to run this along my under eyes. And I'm gonna give it just like, just a minute to start to get tacky before I blend it in with my finger. This has been my go-to everyday concealer because it just blends out so easy with fingers. It has really nice coverage, but it just looks like so healthy and like glowy, radiant, fresh on the under eye. It doesn't look makeup-y at all. And for foundation, I'm going to use my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I wear the shade Light Medium. This applies beautifully with, again, your fingers or a sponge or a brush like I'm doing right now, which is my preferred method because it's so quick. I have tried this without primer. This is definitely something I prefer to have a primer under but this is a lovely kind of lightweight skin milk bordering on tinted moisturizer. This would be perfect for every day, but I do want like a touch more coverage. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in Tan Walnut and just really hit that darkest part of my under eye. Always blend this guy in with a sponge, it just works so beautifully. I'm gonna set the under eyes with my number seven perfect light pressed powder. Tap, tap, tap out the creases. And then from the outer to the inner, tap in the powder. So I got the new Tarte Juicy palette and I thought what could be more perfect than this palette for a Valentine's Day look. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in. Priming my eyes, I'm going to use my Too Faced shadow insurance. And again, using the number seven Perfect Light Pressed Powder, I am gonna set down my eyeshadow primer. But man, look at this color story. It's just like a rosy gold lover dream. Neutral but beautiful, pops of pink. Yum. 
So starting off with this shade right here called Petal, using a wet and wild crease brush, I'm going to sketch where I want my crease to be and then blend it out. Oh man, these Tarte shadows are so good. <laughs> is basically like blending itself okay so going into this like light champagne shimmer it's called reflect I'm just gonna pick this up with my finger and I'm going to press this all over the lid so now pulling in this one called rose which has a bit more of a like cool toned pink I'm gonna run that between the lid shade and the first crease shade to sort of uh, marry the two blend it all together and then again using my finger I'm gonna dip into this pink shade orchid and I'm gonna tap this on the outer third of my lid oh that's so pretty and grabbing the lightest shade in the palette water lily I'm gonna tap this right on the center Just for some added brightness and punch. I'm going to line my top lashes with Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Alkaline. This is just like a really pretty burgundy. So I'm going to line all the way across the top. And then dipping back into our palette, I'm actually going to go in with, hmm, a little bit of charm. I'm going to go a little brown. And I'm going to tap this where I want it. And then blend. Just so there's a little something on the lower lash line. But sometimes putting two pink of shadows under your eyes will give the illusion that they're either bloodshot or that you're a vampire. <laughs> I'm not saying you can't do it. There are literally no rules in makeup. It's just I find that for me, sometimes it's better to just run a little bit of a brown underneath. Then using my Hourglass, what are you called? Unlocked. <laughs> the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. I'm gonna build up my top and bottom lashes. Since you're already zoomed in all nice and close, let's do eyebrows. I'm gonna start with my Makeup Revolution Soap Styler. Spray a little spreading spray right into it. And I'm just gonna fill in any parts that have gaps using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I'm in the shade Dark Brunette. I literally just applied all my bronzer without my camera recording. Aw. Well, okay, I used the Fenty Sunstalker in the sun. Kind of still in the middle of contouring my nose here, so. Just use this to contour my nose, and then I used my e.l.f. Total Complexion brush, and just got all the high points, like, so, and I did do under the chin, down the neck, the norm, the huge. So for blush, I want to use one of the rare beauty ones. I've been loving this one called Bliss. Because it's lighter, it's infinitely less scary to use than some of the other ones. Some of the other ones get really hard to blend out and you're kind of like panicking. This one is much easier to blend out. For highlight, I'm going to use this Burt's Bees All Aglow Highlighter Stick. It is in the shade Opal Mist. My favorite way to apply this is just with my finger, heat up the product. And then I just tap it on the highest points of my skin. Or I should say highest points of my face and then blend it in. And I am going to highlight my nose with it. 
and my little Tin Man. Because I'm not complete without my little Tin Man nose. <laughs> I'm going to go on my Cupid's bow too. Every video my dog's got to just pop in and make her presence known. <laughs> oh, she's a thirsty girl, huh? Or are you just trying to make his noise? the noises? Good girl. You're a good dog. Yes. At Christmas time, Clinique released this like a mini chubby set that has 20 different shades in it. So I think I'm going to do something pink. Pinky, maybe leaning red. Definitely pink. So let me kind of look through what I got for options because that's what I needed was 20 more lip colors this little set got me though <laughs> plushiest punch it's one of the chubby stick intense moisturizing lip color balms let's let's go bold oh I love that color though it's so warm so I just put some out on my lip. I'm going to blend it in with my finger. Oh my god, that's so pretty. I'm blending it out with my finger. My lips are so insanely chapped right now that I'm trying not to make it the most obvious that I have like the crustiest lips on earth. Oh my goodness. That's a beautiful color. So with my outfit on and hair done, this is the final look. This look turned out exactly how I wanted it. I just wanted it to be like really soft, feminine, romantic. I think this is the absolute perfect look for Valentine's Day, especially if you're staying in, having dinner at home. You want something you can do. It's not too difficult. Be easy to take off. And it's still like festive. I think this is the perfect 2021 Valentine's Day look. <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you're not yet subscribed I hope you'll consider subscribing. You can hang out with me on all social media. I have a Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. It's at the beauty saga for all social media. Have a really good day or night wherever you are. Please stay safe. I hope I'm gonna see you on my next video and until then darlings, bye.